Hi, welcome back again to my channel. Again, this is Mai. And um, I especially would like to thank those friends who have uh, visited and liked my FB page. It's called Mai. Thank you so much for those friends and um, for those new friends as well. And um, for the ones who keep watching my videos on my YouTube channel, thank you very much to all of you guys. So anyway, for now, I am here to share a short, a short story on how I started learning abacus. And I have two abacus or two, two types of abacus here with me to show you and with their short story. So I hope you guys will enjoy this story on how I started ab uh, learning abacus. I'll start with this. Well, these are the types of the abacus I am telling you. So let me start with the one I really started with, uh, the abacus education. This is what we call the Cranmer abacus. And this is specially designed for visually impaired student. When I started um, learning um, using this abacus, it was actually my visually impaired student who is an American who lived with his um, Persian missionary family in Pankasinan. They stay there so I go there once a week and I stay in their house for three days a week and uh, tutor him with the use of the, the uh, braille system. And uh, the time comes that during, this, during the summer vacation, so it's also my vacation, the uh, mother of my blind student approached me if I can study abacus myself while on vacation before, before her son will have to start doing math using abacus system. So, of course, I was challenged because I know it's really difficult because I used to work in a uh, non-organization company who actually cater or who actually uh, give services for individually blind because my father myself is a, my father himself is a blind uh, person and I have not gotten into a situation where I have to learn abacus or braille during those days that he was uh, still alive but uh, I just I'm thankful that I was able to meet this special student of mine where I started learning abacus and so of course I agreed with the mom of my uh, student and because um, we, we, we both are actually working together when it comes to tutoring um, her son so it's my privilege as well though I'm challenged because she gave me a book, but this book that I got from Resources for the Blind, I have a friend there, a co-worker, who actually gave me that uh, book. So I have two books that I'm using when I started studying abacus, this Cranmer abacus. And the abacus, this came from Resources for the Blind as well. So, um, of course, for two months, every day... Monday through Fridays, I started um, doing my abacus uh, lesson by myself. I keep reading, I keep analyzing because it's quite challenge if you don't have someone to teach you, especially this kind of unique um, um, education or skill that you will be um, imparting to a special student, of course. But, but then, so I started, we, we are already um, in there. We have been, we, we both are familiar, but I'm surprised that as I teach the blind, my blind student, he was more faster than I, than I do. So it's probably um, because of the age, because usually uh, this abacus education is really uh, good from, from, uh, from the age 4 through 12. That is where they are more... Um, they, they do absorb all education or all, all learnings that they can get. So, well, of course, while you're young, you are really more faster. <laughs> anyway, so that's the Cranmer Abacus. That's how I started Abacus. And the time comes that these blind, that blind student of mine have to um, go home in the U.S. with his family. So I then realized I, I'm not going to stop 
you know learning and i do not want to um i do not want to have this knowledge or skills of mine be stopped forever and i want to share as well and at the same time if you share the skill you will at the same time learn to enhance your your skill as well so i just thought of looking for is there like a school where a, where where not just blind individual need who needs the uh, brain abacus education so i then realized that there there are some there are some schools which are which actually uh, give learning program for kids so these but this time these are not these are not blind students so that's where i started to use the soroban so the soroban so this is obviously it's not designed for blind individuals but mostly sighted students and um, I started working in an academy where we teach us abacus from um, from age 4 through 12 and this is what we use to enhance their learning skills so we, we use the abacus tool so that's actually the story and if you notice um, there are there are a few differences on between Sorabon and the uh, Cranmer. Well, aside from the colors that you can see right now, aside from the color, you can also notice that um, this whenever a student will move the beads up or down, or let's say they have come up with the, with their answers already. The answers will not be erased that's the reason why this is really designed for visually impaired because this is how they write and they read and calculate numbers using abacus but if you and they can not just lay the abacus down on the table they can actually move it anywhere they go so that's the Cranmer abacus for visually impaired. And for the Saraban, for this one, since uh, most of the uh, user of the Saraban are sighted, you have, they really have to lay it down flat on the table. So, those are the difference. But, one difference that I notice as well, when I uh, use these uh, types of abacus, the Saraban, the, the one's place value is actually in the middle. And then to the left, right? So ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, and so on and so forth. Unlike the uh, unlike the Cranmer abacus, the Cranmer abacus actually is this is where the ones place value is located. So this is the ones place, tens place, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, and so on and so forth. So those are the difference. But with regards to the technique on how you add and subtract, divide and multiply, it will be the same. No changes. So that's the story that I wanted to share with you. And I hope you like the story. And um, guys, keep watching my videos. And for my friends who like my uh, new FB page, thank you so much. Again, keep watching and visiting my page. And for those uh, friends who keep watching my videos on YouTube channel, my Lorente, thank you so much as well. Guys, keep watching and I will be uploading the next lesson, which is on how to add and subtract using indirect method, since we have already studied the uh, direct method. Thank you so much and keep watching. Keep safe, everyone. Bye for now.